Give me that honey. Don't sing that. Wait, why are you smacking me for what you were singing? I was acting like I was you. I was playing opposites. How does that? Wait, you was me and you? Yeah. I was me and then I turned into you and I slapped <laughs> you, but it was me. Oh, I slapped oh. me. Okay. For you. For singing that shit. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, crank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? Nah, no, this ain't no click bait. What up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph. And Tasha, and we back with another video. Before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs this video up if you like it, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Baby's going to tell you what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing a Mediterranean mukbang. Period. Okay, we'll talk about what we have. Obviously, it's a lot when we get in the video. You ready, baby? So let's get into the video. All right, she said it, y'all. Bam. I got in this cup, y'all. My baby um, hooked my, my drink up. So, yeah. I don't, I don't it's melting. <laughs> it melted. Horrible. Let's talk about what we have. We got right. chicken kebab. We have sirloin kebab. We have. Oh, gyro hero gyro. Gyro whatever you want to call it. Y'all know. Yeah. Okay. Somebody knows. All right. <laughs> we got some serrano peppers, some roasted serrano peppers. Mm. And with some onions and stuff. We got roasted carrots and tomatoes. Salad, pita, carrots. Some good ass hummus, y'all. Oh, it's about to go. Some good down, okay. hummus and down. salad dressing that I'm about to just. And of course, the yogurt sauce that Mediterranean food is known for. Okay, y'all. So we tried this place a couple months ago. Loved it. And I was like, we got to do a mukbang on that one day. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Oh, not that we have to, but I'm going to address something real quick about saying grace. We have addressed it before, but we have a lot of new people. Um, you guys, we do believe in God. We do pray daily. We do not say grace, but we do um, pray. We're not going to start. We've never said grace, so we're not going to start just because we see other people doing it. Right. A lot of people do that. We don't, but we do pray every day, both of us, mm -hmm. individually. Mm -hmm. And God is my best friend. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And just to let you know. I usually pray, pray um, in the morning and at night, mm -hmm. and I include food in that, okay? <laughs> and every other thing that I'm blessed enough to have. Mm. This is my first time trying their gyro. Am I saying, I know I'm not saying it right. Mm -hmm. She didn't even know that. That's good. Well, I don't eat lamb. This is good. This is good. Okay. Exactly. All right. Because it's mixed. It's not all lamb. Mixed with what? I think beef. If y'all know, let me know in the comments. But I believe it's beef. I don't understand how they so mix it. Y'all know I'm about to make it. What do you mean? This is like, it's like ground beef. Oh. You, know, you can mix it. Mm. Okay. Y'all know I got to make some kind of sandwich over here. There you go for my hero lovers. Mmm. This is so bomb, y'all. Mm. That's good. Mm. 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 -mm. Cool. This is good. <coughs> I forgot that was a serrano pepper. Mm. Who likes hummus? This is one of the best hummuses I've ever had. Tasha don't even like hummus. Mm. -mm. But she likes theirs. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know I liked hummus. I do like um. I don't like plain hummus, but I like mm. like red pepper hummus and things mm -hmm. like that. You know, we get from um. Farmer's market sometimes when we go, mm -hmm. which we haven't been to in a very long time. I think it's been more than a year. Maybe not more than a year, but it's been a while since we gone to the farmer's market. Yeah. We yeah. need to go. But yeah, my point is this hummus is good. Did you try these uh, carrots? Mm hmm the Carrots, mom. I didn't even taste them. I just put them in my mouth and started showing them. These are some good carrots. I don't even mm -hmm. like cooked carrots. It's good. This is from Luna, Luna Grill for mm -hmm. anybody who's in LA. LA. 
-hmm. This is actually Santa Monica, but Luna Real. Pretty good. They probably have it somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -mm. I was gonna say their meats are so delicious. I have no idea what they put on them, but they are really good. Mm. Chicken is not dry, and this is chicken breast. Mm -hmm. Oh, look who's eating the hair up. Mm. Mm. She's like, I don't want that. I did say that. Mm -hmm. She was trying to get more food, y'all. She was like, it's not enough. I was trying to get a chicken wrap. <laughs> um. Wrap that shit in this. Okay. <laughs> we do not need no chicken wrap. Mm. Mm. Oh. I'm a mess. I need to learn how to eat, y'all. If we ever do a meat and eat, y'all, don't sit next to Stephanie. You will be wearing the food. I love her, though. That's my baby. <laughs> but she's going to get food on you. Like, don't sit your baby next to her. Your baby gonna have food all in her hair. For real. Don't. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'm about to make me a sandwich too since I don't have a potato. I wish they wouldn't cut the little square so small so you can make a good sandwich. Same. Mm -hmm. Grilled serrano pepper. Yeah. Good. I'm about yeah. to make me a whole serrano pepper. Oh, the yogurt. Mm-hmm. Then some onion. Y'all already know. You know I love sound. I love That's like sound. if I made a loaded potato on your face. That's pretty. <gasps> you lying. For me? Yeah. What's in this? You just Ooh, watched this is a combo. make it. This is a combo, combo wrap? Yeah. Wow. I'm throwing some gear on this too. Make my See, own. See, that's love, y'all. That, that right there, that's love. People gonna be mad. Why? You always share your food with Stephanie, but she never shares hers with you. It's not true. Well, what I don't like what you eat. Exactly. What y'all don't really know is that number one, we be playing with each other. We share everything. I don't have a problem sharing any of my food with my wife. Number two, I don't eat anything. She is very picky. So most of the stuff that we be playing around with, she don't even want. Nah. Okay? She don't want that. And if I wanted it, I would take it. Exactly. I would give it to her. Yeah. Ugh, this is just messy. So y'all can go ahead and relax. Boy and me. Ooh. I will a spicy piece of serrano. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get my stuff together since my wife is a Woo! thief. You gave me the spiciest piece of Serrano. Did I? Yes. Sorry. Ah. It was a it was a spicy mm. and a non-spicy piece of Serrano. You know the part up here with all the seeds is, is hotter. Ooh. So that means mm. I got some good hot too. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. I have scrumptious. Mm-mm. Mm. Taste that, y'all. You want this? Why are you over it? I don't really like it. No, huh? I don't think I like the um yogurt. Oh, okay. I didn't think you did. I really thought I was about to have me something good and yeah. I tasted it and was like, oh no. Yeah, I didn't think you liked the yogurt. Ooh. Mm. I feel like a, I feel like a lemon. Mm. But, Sorry, babe. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my god. Now let me set it off. Hell yeah. Mmm. Y'all want some chicken? Mm. So if y'all new here, welcome. Check out some of our other videos. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. We generally eat for a little while and discuss the food. And then later we'll have a topic. Today we are doing a viewer topic. Um, we also have a vlog channel, y'all. The link is in the description below. This is real good food. Yes, it is. Did you guys know the Mediterranean diet is supposedly one of the best diets? One of them that we should be living by. 
Probably because it's veggies and meat. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna live by it one day. It's probably good for your heart. If it don't, it's a little bread. I don't know. This is bread. I know. But I wonder if the real thing. Oh. I think it's supposed to be grains. Or maybe I'm so long you have like one square. Probably. <laughs> you know Americans gotta overdo it. Okay. All the time. Yep. Like they're, um, they have desserts there. Their desserts are small as heck. Probably like one third the size of what we would think is a normal serving of dessert. Mm -hmm. So as you guys know, we're calorie counting. And I was looking at a cupcake. And I'm like, ooh, I want this cupcake. The cupcake was 120 calories and it was it was this small. So I was like, wow. So that means our cupcakes are probably like 500 calories. So it was like, you can't really eat a cupcake and then eat a meal. Right. By the time you eat a meal, a regular, let's say a fast food meal and a cupcake, you've had your amount of calories that you're supposed to have mm -hmm. for the whole day already. So you gotta be conscious of that. If you want to, you don't have to be if you don't want to. If you want to be conscious of that, be conscious of that. Hey ladies, I have a topic. My cousin has been staying with me now almost six months. When she first came, the agreement was that she would give me $250 a month. Then in December, she had a really bad car accident. Sorry, so she couldn't go to work. Huh? I said, sorry, dear. So she couldn't You're go right. to work or nothing. So I didn't worry about the money. But now she is doing a lot better. She smokes and drinks beer every day. She has not went back to work yet. But she has the people that she messes with come over to my house without asking me. I have always been a private person. I stay to myself and I have a three and I have three beautiful daughters. As you know, it's tax season and all she gave me was $260 for the month that she wasn't working. I'm just fed up. I know she is family, but I want her to leave. What should I do? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Kick her out. How long has she been over this car accident stuff? Um, what did she not say? She didn't say, but she said now she's doing a lot better. She smokes and drinks beer every day. So mm -hmm. every day it must be a little while. You know, right. not like she just started last week. Okay. When I first read this, I was like, oh, hell no. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, let me really put myself in this situation and think about my cousins because I'm very close mm -hmm. to a lot of my cousins. And oh, I, yeah. you know, would I really kick them out? I, got I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think I would kick Rhonda out. But that's because of who she's been up to date. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, if this person was a known user type person, I would have to get, kick them out. Now, if she was just going through some shit, sometimes people need a couple months to get over some stuff. It depends on how long they were doing this, honestly. You're not about to live it up in my house while I'm struggling and working. And I got my three kids and you inviting people over here with my daughters. It's just too much. You drinking and smoking every day. You living it up. Mm -hmm. But I gotta work and, and struggle every day. Right. No, nah, that's too much. You know. Yeah, you know chicken. <laughs> kind of. I had one piece of wine. I'm good with this stuff. And these men, I mean, these people that she inviting over are men. You don't really want random men that you don't know around your daughters. Mm -mm. No. Sorry. Sometimes you don't even want men you know around your daughters. Right. You need to respect people's homes that you're living in. I've never understood not respecting. Like I had a person whose sister came to stay with her and the sister, actually the sister and the sister's man came to stay with her and they ended up stealing her ATM card, you guys. Took all of her rent money out and then aborted mission on living with her. So someone's I own the sister. story. Who yeah, you, you know the sister. Oh yeah, right. uh-uh. So you basically, I'm letting you live with, here with your man and you steal mm -hmm. my ATM card and take my rent mm -hmm. for a quick little bit of money when I was actually letting you live. You had shelter, now now I don't even have shelter. Right. <laughs> mm -mm. People just be doing too much. And yeah. it seems like those people that always need help, help are the main ones that are disrespectful and just doing outrageous shit. You be like, really? Really? Nigga? I opened up my home to you and that's what you do? I don't know. Um, 
I don't have to think about it in that respect too. I don't have any cousins. Um, but maybe a sister and a cousin is different too. Um, no. No? Okay. So would I kick my sister out? One of them. The other one, no. <laughs> so... It would take a lot, you know what I'm saying? It would take a lot for me to, uh huh. If you were drinking and smoking and doing all this, I would just be like, you need to get "What are you doing? Right. Like, get yourself together," you know. And that's my older sister, so I would still feel kind of weird. I don't know. No, my nephew. I love my nephews. I don't think I would kick one of my nephews out after talking to him. Well, you ain't about to be a grown man in my house. I feel like when it's a woman, it's different. Yeah, People yeah. just expect you to give women more. No, it's not right. No, I think I would make a woman homeless. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to make a man homeless either. But yeah, I don't know. I think you need to talk to her so she doesn't keep continue to take advantage of you because that's what she's doing. It doesn't mean that she doesn't love you, but she probably got to a point where she got comfortable mm -hmm. not working, and she don't want to do. She don't want to go back. I think I would definitely set some rules. Like, the shit you don't want going on, do not invite nobody up to my house that I don't know. Yeah. You know, or just random, I don't know if the person's coming up at random times, all kind of stuff. That's number one. Number two, you can't be sitting here living it up, drinking and smoking, and you not even trying to look for a job. Mm -hmm. I would put a time frame on this. Like, you got two months. Mm -hmm. Okay? I need to see you getting a job and you working on getting out of here. Mm -hmm. And that's it. If she, she either gonna take what you give her, or she can get out your house. Bye, All right. Love you. Yeah. But you gotta go. You doing too much. You taking too. You taking advantage. You taking just full advantage of me. Mm mm. You gotta stand up for yourself, y'all. I'm telling you. I mean, if she is comfortable enough to bring somebody over your house, okay? She over here hanging out, having a great time, right. bringing niggas over and chilling. All right. Uh uh. You gotta go. If you can do all this, you can go get a job. Exactly. At least. Go there ain't get a no job. more excuse to be you not having a job. Yeah, nah. Bye. At this point, you ain't got a job because you hung over every day. Mm -mm. I'm not about yeah. to keep enabling you to do that. And, and that, that's what I was going to say. You're enabling her if you continue to allow her to drink and smoke every day. Because, I mean, not that you're responsible for her, but you did allow her to come into your house. And you see that she's probably, she may have fallen into some kind of depression because of the disability. I mean, she got into a really, but you said it was a really bad car accident. So she could have fell in, fallen into depression and she's um, using alcohol and drugs as a escape. Yeah. An escape. So you might want to help her with even getting out of that. You know, you gotta, that might wake her up. You telling her, no, you're gonna have to leave. You're gonna have to stop doing all this because she's probably in this little cycle. Yeah. She, probably, she, she probably needs help. That's exactly what's happening. We done. We done. If y'all have anything to add, put it in the comments below. I'm sure she's going to be looking and looking and seeing what everybody thinks about this situation, you guys. So, what else we got to say? My mouth is full, cool. baby. All right, so, um, you guys, we have a vlog channel. You already know. The link is in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, press that notification bell for daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. Until next time, only goodbyes. goodbyes. Peace. Peace. Give me that honey. Don't sing that. Wait, why are you smacking me for what you were singing? What are you talking about? I was acting like I was you. I was playing opposites. How does that? Wait, you was me and you? Yeah. I was me and then I turned into you and I slapped <laughs> you, but it was me. Oh, I slapped oh. me. Okay. For you. For singing that shit. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, pop that coochie, baby. Hey, hey, don't do that. Do not twerk on camera. Babe, why would you play? You got to go all overboard. I just barely touched you. You got to hit hard. You got to stuck your whole fingernail in my nose. Damn. I'm sorry. rough as hell. I'm sorry. You rubbing your own nose? Yeah, because I'm acting like you're me. <laughs> I love you. Okay. You ready to get out the video for real? Yeah. Yes, I am. You start this shit, you know. I'm like, we be doing this shit all that long. You be like, bitch, I was just kidding. <laughs> shit, crazy. <laughs> you know, I'll take, I'll be, I will take this shit all the way to I'll, the extreme. I'm gonna have time, and then be doing it next week. Right, still be me. Nah, I, mean, I don't want to be me no more. Thanks.
I'll just be myself and you can be yourself. You be like, why the fuck did I ever do that again? Right. 